Hello and welcome back to Ocarina of Time. We are in the second dungeon, the Dodongo's Cavern, and the first thing that I'm gonna do is um, get out this shield, which we can't really use because it's it's uh, just too big. But um, we can have it on our back, and that is good enough. Oh no! Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll watch it. I'll try. And you'll have to forgive me, but I always kind of forget where to go in the beginning of this. Um, and now I have to wait. Actually, I don't really have to wait because there are ladders here. But, uh, ah, let's just wait. Hopefully I can get through the entire dungeon today. In this one episode. I'm not sure how long this is going to take, but this one is uh, a lot longer than the first dungeon. That's for sure. So we just got a chest here. I think it's the compass of the map. I don't know. Exactly. Oh, it's the map. Yay! Alright, so let's see what's uh, beyond here. Is it another wall? No, it isn't. Oh, it's just a Deku Merchant. I think... I think he sells you uh, a shield, I think, um, and we can't do anything there, so let's head over to the other side. But yeah, the reason why you don't want to have your wooden shield out here is because there are enemies that can burn you, and the shield will, uh, well, it would burn and disappear from your inventory. How realistic. Alright, so let's uh, start by blowing things up here. There are bomb flowers. Oh, it's just a stone. I'm not sure why this one is here. What the uh, the purpose of it is. And by the way, one thing that is cool is that with these bombos, you can only kill them with bombs, but if you, you, if you lock onto them and uh, the bomb hits them head on when you're locked on, it will explode right away, so that's kind of cool. Alright, and this is the way forward. And, um, yeah, we have uh, baby Dodongos here! Ah! And they will explode when they get close to you, but we're gonna have to use these guys because there's a wall here. And uh, they can help us blow it up. Hopefully, yeah, awesome. And uh, oh, there are keys in here. Um, yeah, the keys have a tendency in this game to fly through flames and uh, catch fire. And uh, generally, it will be these guys that will destroy your Kokiri shield, so... Ow. Right. Let's backflip. Haha. -ha. Anyway, let's continue. Yeah. Oh, man. They can jump, apparently. And here we have a classic Zelda puzzle. We're gonna have to make use of this statue right here and uh, put it onto the switch. So isn't, isn't that just lovely? There we go. Um, yeah, we got more keys. There are some rooms in this game where I kind of want to kill, like, keys that are flying. Oh, that's right. I was going to do, like, a, a crouch stab, but, uh... Nope, not with this shield. Anyway, we have the first mini-boss. Um... Which, uh... It's these guys, and I think we have the other guy coming after me. So, I like to, uh... Block while they stab. 
And after a while they will run away and the other guy will take over. So, where is he? Come on now. So, yeah. Stab, duck, or block, and then stab again. It's pretty simple. I was probably pretty proud of myself when I found this strategy as a kid. Because, um, you know, I don't, I don't know. Because I found a way to do this battle without taking damage. Although I'll probably will take damage today because, uh, you know, you know how it is when you're recording. Aha! We did it! But I guess you get some hearts here if, uh, if you get hurt. And if you thought that battle was fun, don't worry, we're gonna have to do it again. Okay, so, um, this room is kind of, uh, kind of classic in many ways. I can't remember what's, uh, what's right here. I think it is a Deku merchant, actually, selling you Deku sticks. Um, because we're gonna have to use them, yeah. Sure enough, I don't need them, though. I am okay. But before we do anything, we're gonna have to take care of these guys. Um, it can be kind of hard to hit with uh, jump slashes, but uh, it's certainly a faster way to take them out. Come on now. Thank you, and they will explode when they die. I think there are three in here, so. Come on now, hit him. Yeah, I think you just have to be really far away in order to, to hit them with the jump slash, but I guess that works too. And one more. Wow, okay, he died in one hit. Not really sure why. Maybe I, I hit his uh, hitbox two times or something? I don't know. Who knows? I certainly don't. Okay, so let's uh, light the torches. I think... Uh, is there one? No, I thought I saw one here, but nope. Yeah. As much as I played this game, um, I haven't really memorized everything about it. But I guess I've memorized enough. Okay, and uh, now we're out uh, in the main room again. Yeah, so a lot of this dungeon is, um, you know, going sort of in circles and unlocking something on the way so we can progress. It's kind of a cool dungeon. It's probably my favorite out of the uh, the first set of dungeons here. And, uh, yeah, we have the stair room. Now, there is um, a room behind here, which will contain the compass. However, I, I happen to not like that room, because you're going to have to kill an armor statue. And, uh, you know, we don't really have access or a, a good access to explosives at this point in time. So I think I'm just going to skip on that room. Sorry if I'm not being thorough, but I'm just too comfortable. Yeah, just lay a, a bomb or a bomb flower in the middle there, and this will cause a chain reaction, and this stair will lower. It's a very annoying stair to climb, though. Oh well. Hello. There we go. Yeah. This takes forever. Come on, Link. Climb. Climb. Now, one thing that's cool, though, is that uh, up here, we have some pots. 
and it has a red rupee and I think we have another red rupee on the other side so if you're interested in money then uh, this is a good place to get some red rupees are kinda rare in this game I guess they're much more common in, um, in like Link to the Past but we do have a sculpture line here we actually have two in this room however we cannot get all of them right now actually it's just like in um, in um, the Decker tree, uh, we couldn't get all the sculptures out of that dungeon either, so... Oh, and now we have fire bats. I hate them. Yeah, you know, I'd like to try to take him out um, without locking on. But it's kind of hard to do sometimes, because... Um, Um, because um, because I suck at aiming, that's it. I, I'm sorry, I was thinking about something completely different here. Since I don't have a map, um, and this this room tends to confuse me, because you're going to open these both these doors, right? And, um, I mean, th they show you it, but I know as a kid I would always be confused. Like, where did I come from? But, um... But if you have the map, there will actually be an arrow telling you where you entered the room. But, uh, so I was looking for something to distinct these two doors from each other, but oh well. Anyway. Aha. Can I drop anything? Nope. Anyway, we're on the second floor. Alright. Let's just jump over here. I like to do roll jumps, but um, because I mean, I I don't think it's my ad imagination. I do think that we actually do cover a lot more ground with uh, rolling jumps, but um, you don't have to do them, I guess. Yeah, sure. I am using C targeting all the time. Yes, it is. I know. I know. Okay, so, um, yeah, this, this room is kind of weird, just in general. But we have to do something really annoying here, and I, I tend to be really bad at it. Which we're going to have to throw a very precise bomb onto the ledge there, which, uh, yeah, I always fail. So you can do two things, either hope that it, it falls on the ledge, the bomb, or... No. Or you can throw it so it explodes just as it hits the door. So I'll try this a couple more times, then maybe I'll just cut it out if it takes way too long. I don't know. Like that. Grab the ladder. Oh, come on. Not sure if you can do that in this game. Uh oh. I switches. Yeah, this isn't too bad. I mean, this dungeon isn't difficult at all, really. It's just... Uh, I mean, it's it's a big step up from the previous dungeon, of course, but... Um, because I guess they're... They figured you're used to the 3D stuff now, but... Um, so yeah, we have our friends again. But we're... We're playing on smaller platforms now, so... Come on now. Get over here. Aw. I guess these guys are a bit smarter. Yeah, once they decide to run away, you can't hit them. Which I think is uh, BS, but... Oh well. Because you can't get a, like, a cheap shot in to speed this fight up, but... But it's fine. Get over here. I think it's funny how they... Because they're standing there jumping. And then when they decide to get over to you, they stop and look at you for a second. And then they start moving towards you. I don't know, there's just something really funny about that. Oh, we do have these hearts too, out here. Um, but there's... 
like a, I think it's a pit, or maybe it takes you to a room. I don't know, another room, I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, grab them at your own risk. And now we have a more advanced version of this, where we have two flames and two switches. So, gonna hit the first one. We don't have a timer for this one, or we don't get a timer, even though we are on a timer. Because usually you have the timer sound, like when you're on the clock, but oh well. Either way, now we're on the other side of this room. See, that's where we just were, so we could jump down there and do it all again, but uh, I'm not really interested in that. This is kind of a weird room, though. This, this dungeon is kind of weirdly laid out in, in some ways. I noticed there was a, a another door down there now, or a bombable wall, but um, I'm not sure if I've ever seen what's in there, though. However, if I jump down there, I'm gonna have to do it all again. I'm have to gonna go. I'm going to have to go and uh, go around again. I think. Right? Because well, there isn't a ladder here or something like that. No. Hmm. Um. You know what? Maybe I'll come back to this because we are gonna have to visit this uh, place again later in the game. So I don't know. Maybe then. Not sure. Anyway. This will raise this platform up, which is kind of nice. And we got the bombs, by the way. I'm, I'm not sure if I commented on it. Like I always do, I forget to comment on stuff because I'm talking about other things. But yeah, we got the bombs. And that platform now sort of acts as a uh, midpoint kind of thing. Because um, if you want to turn off the game, uh, you're not going to have to go through the entire dungeon again to get back up here. So that's kind of nice. It's how nice of them. So what we need to do here to just uh, okay not do that but we want to drop the bombs into the um, eyes of the Dodongo here how crazy all right and there's another wall on the other side I think it contains a chest with five rupees or a Kokiri shield if you're one if the one you are currently having would be burned. So but yeah, it's money, so let's grab it. And it's easily accessible, so yeah, there we go. But anyway, we're officially done with part one, as I like to call it at least, of this dungeon. And let's head into the mouth of the Dodongo. Oh, it's so scary. But now it starts to get a little bit annoying. Um, first of all, we have fire keys in here. Um, and I, I like to try and kill them if I can. But uh, yeah, usually I can't. There we go. They were pretty nice to me this time though and, and came for me right away. Which is cool. So... Uh, let me see, there's the next Skulltula should be... It says second room in DC part 2, which should be in this room coming up here then. Yeah, Skulltulas are certainly something I haven't memorized fully. Ow! That's not nice. But at least we got him. So, um... Yeah, this room... I don't know, this room kind of confuses me at times. I don't really know why. It just does. I think the sculpture lies actually right here. Oh, come on. Oh, yay, it still blew it up. Awesome. But once we get out of here, we're going to have to kill the fire keys again. Aw. Anyway, so now we're going to have to fight another armor statue. Well, technically, we haven't fought one yet, but... As I said, in that um, the compass room, there would be one. But at that point in time, you didn't have bombs, so you'd have to use bomb flowers. Now that we do have bombs, so... We're not as limited. Aw, but I suck anyway, apparently. Again, if you can hit him on the face right that, like that, or hit him on the head, then uh, the bomb will just explode right away. So you don't have to wait for the timer, which is very nice. 
Awesome! Another Sculptula down. That gives us 14, I think. But yes. Fire keys again. They respawn for some reason. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to stick around and try to take them out. I mean, they're, they're going to be in the way, because they always are, but... I think I'll just try to go with it. Oh, oh, come on now. I always forget that you can't just walk up to a block and, and Link will grab onto it. You actually have to push the A button. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Oh. Yeah, for some reason, Firebats is like my greatest enemy in this game. And um, I'm not really sure if I'm going to keep this, but there is a fairy in here. And uh, she tends to uh, fly into the walls, but I was lucky today. So that's good. I don't know, it's always handy to have a fairy on you, I guess. Um, you never know. I mean, dying in this game is very rare, I'd say, if you're, if you're not doing like a minimalist playthrough or something like that, then dying is just something that doesn't really happen in this game. Like with most modern Zelda games, dying is extremely rare in most cases. I mean, in this, in this game I have died a couple of times throughout my life, of, or throughout the time I've been playing this game, but um, it's very rare, like probably, I could probably count it on one hand or something like that. Now for other modern Zelda games like Wind Waker or Twilight Princess, I've actually never died, I think. So, yeah, they're pretty, I don't know, I wouldn't call them simple games, but they're like, they're very generous. I mean, as far as taking damage and stuff, if you, oh my god, I think you're a moron. If you compare to, um, like, Link to the Past, where enemies will deal two, three hearts of damage, and uh, and that becomes the norm after a while, while in, in the 3D games, it's more like the norm is to take half a heart away, you know. It, it becomes a bit easier, just in general. But anyway, we're here. We're at the boss, kind of. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some bombs here. And I think to speed this fight up, I think I'm gonna make use of my Deku Sticks. Just because it's fun. And we have to blow this weird thing out. Yay! And here we are. It is the King of the Dodongos. Appropriately named. Wait for it. Wait for it. And wait for it. King Dodongo! Ah! I love the like subtitles that the bosses have in this game. That's just great. So yeah, just throw a bomb into his mouth or miss. I mean that works too, I guess. Um yeah, sure, that works perfectly. But yeah, so maybe next time I won't miss. <laughs> How about that? I guess you just have to be closer. Like this. And then I mean, you can use your sword, but you can use Deku Sticks. Jump slash him, and uh, I only have to hit him one more time and he's dead. So... You have bomb flowers in here too if you run out of bombs, but uh, hopefully you won't. This is one of the simpler bosses in the game, I'd say. Boom! There we go. You're done for. Give the Gorons the rock back. And for some reason, he dies in lava. I wonder why that is. I guess it's game logic or something like that. Anyway, let's just grab our heart and go. I feel kind of bad for him, but, I mean, what can he do? He was hurting the Gorons. He must die.
And that's it. I thought this was actually going to take almost an hour, but I guess it isn't that long, this dungeon. So that's cool. But we are treated to a pretty fun cutscene here, so... Oh. Mr. Runia. Well done! Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Well, isn't that great? Yeah. What a wild adventure. It'll make an incredible story. Yeah, me neither, I guess. All this trouble must have been caused by that Gerudo thief, Ganondorf. Uh-oh. He said, give me the spiritual stone. Only then will I open the cave for you. You, on the other hand, risked your life for us. I guess I did. I like you. Sworn Brothers? Uh, sure. And, even though Link is still on the ground, I guess. Well, yeah, there he goes. We get... the Goron Ruby. There it is, in all its glory. Awesome. Looks pretty cool. You obtained the Gorons Rupee. This is the spiritual stone of the fire. Of fire passed down by the Gorons. This is funny. You don't know what he means by sworn brothers, but you collected two spiritual stones. You have one more to find. Yay! I like it's funny how they emphasize that Link is a kid all the time. Oh, the great fairy on Death Mountain. She will power you up. Let's see off our brother, and as if it couldn't get any worse. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You did great. How about a big Goron hug, brother? Ah, no! Oh, they're coming from everywhere, and they want to hug me! Ah! Okay, so enough of this shenanigans. This is it for this episode, so thanks for watching. And next time we're gonna climb Death Mountain. Bye. <laughs>